Hey, happy fall, y'all. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a great September. And um, we just started our two-week Choose Your Hard Challenge. So hopefully you got the app, you downloaded, um, or you printed off your tracker. And even if you don't want to participate like as as much like in the app, even if you just print your, your tracker that you can do on your own, I think you'd really enjoy the progress that you'd see in the two weeks. But the app is really fun. It's really simple to use. There's like a daily video that will teach you something every day. You get prizes for participating. The um, tracker is awesome. So you can just kind of see your improvement along the way. So anyways, I hope you are joining us in our in the Choose Your Hard Challenge. It's a two week challenge. Reach out if you need some more information about it. If you haven't signed up, I can help you. But I want to talk to you about our healthy habit this week. We're talking about above and below the line, the drama triangle, how to move into the empowerment triangle. Sounds like a pretty cool place to be, right? So this is in your life book. Last week we talked about element four. We're still in element four because it is so chocked full of good information, good tools to help you with the mindset. The mindset is key, you guys. Um, it is really what... Um, helps you with that lifelong change. So let's jump right into it. We're talking about the empowerment triangle this week and how to move from the drama triangle. Now what the drama triangle looks like, let me read you some things, some thoughts that might be going on in your head. Um, that is a good indication that maybe you're below the line in that drama triangle. And you guys, we all kind of live there a lot of the time, but it's so empowering when we can recognize that we're there and shift into the empowerment triangle. So the drama triangle, what that looks like is um, you might be playing the victim, the villain, or the hero. So you might be saying, it's being done to me. This is being done to me. Why is this being done to me? Why is this happening to me, <laughs> right? Or it's not fair. Um, it's not fair that people always bring donuts to work. It's not fair that I have to go eat out with my family. It's not fair, you know, that I have to lose weight. Um, or who's at fault? You're looking, who did this? Who's at fault? Whose fault is this? Um, or I'm here to save the day. That's the hero. Like, I have to do everything for everyone. Nobody can do anything themselves. It's all up to me. I have to do everything. You know, a lot of us moms have said that before. So those all are places in the drama triangle below the line. So if you catch yourself thinking that or saying those, uh, it's good just to be aware. Oh, I'm kind of below the line. I want to shift. I want to move into the empowerment triangle. Now, the empowerment triangle in element four, it's on 100, page 110. I want you to check that out because it is life-changing when you can live in the empowerment triangle several times during the day. It's not a place that you can live always, but when you can catch yourself and shift into that empowerment triangle, it sounds like this. I'm in charge of what happens. I am creating my new story. I help others to get better. I am open and curious to learn. Wow, like doesn't that sound a little different? I take responsibility. It's up to me to make changes. I get to choose. I get to, I want to, I choose to. Those are sayings that you would say in the empowerment trial, triangle versus I have to, someone's making me do this, you know, I don't want to. Um, so that is such a different um, tone of voice or thought. So I want you to be aware of when your brain is shifting to that drama triangle. Oh, why is this happening to me? Why do I have to do this? I have to do this. It's not fun. I hate it. Someone who's at fault? Who's making me do this? My coach is making me do this, right? Um, and when you can shift into the empowerment. I choose to, I get to, I want to make these choices. It feels so good. Um, I'm in control of what happens to me. I'm creating my story. I help others to take responsibility. I don't have to do everything for everyone. I give others that freedom to learn. And I'm open and curious. Sometimes we think our thoughts are fact, but sometimes just challenging that. What if the opposite was true? Am I open and curious to changing my habits? Am I open and curious to changing my thoughts or my patterns? Um, that is where empowerment lies, to know that you're not stuck one way. You can build new roads, you can create new habits, and you can have that breakthrough and have that empowerment to create and be the dominant force in your life. That is what is amazing when you recognize the power that lies in your hands. So that's an element for 
Um, it talks a lot about it on page 109, 110, um, but the whole element is so great. And also, if you catch our Healthy Together time this Wednesday, I'll put the link in the chat or in the comments below, um, You can or in the notes, you can hop on and learn more about how to do this, how to create that change in your life and become the dominant force in your life. So we hope to see you Wednesday and have a great week. We'll talk to you later.